Now let's run a harmonic analysis for the plate that we did the modal analysis for. So basically, uh, instead of running modal analysis, I want to do harmonic analysis. I want to hit the center of this plate with a displacement in z, z direction at the eighth natural frequency, which is about 2500 hertz, and see how it uh, changes or if we get the same shape from a harmonic analysis. And because I already have the model, I'm skipping model creation and meshing. I can use the same model. All I have to do is to finish the uh, post-processing. I want to go back to solution and do eplot for now. And let's take a look at it from top and actually from this angle. And for the time being, I want to remove the symmetry so I won't have any I guess I have to come back to style here and say no expansion and zoom all and let's take a look at the uh, boundary conditions and stuff that we had so I had boundary conditions there so what I want to do is to delete the UZ boundary condition at this circle because previously we fixed in the Z direction and apply an actual displacement in the Z direction to this plate. So what I will do is first do C sys, go back to cylindrical coordinate system, comma one, and select nodes by location, X equals zero to PL or CRC rad. And let's just make sure that you have the correct nodes. So these are the nodes. And I want to say D delete, basically delete uh, a degree of freedom from all the nodes UZ. So delete all the UZs from these nodes. As you can see, something just changed on these uh, nodes. Now I want to apply a new degree of freedom in the Z direction. So I say D, all the nodes, UZ, and I want to move them up and down at a harmonic uh, loading by a, t a tenth of a millimeter or 100 microns. So if I say E, 1E minus 4 and press enter, now they have a UZ direction. I do all cell and change the coordinate system back to Cartesian and finish. So my new model is ready. I can say E plot. And this is the same model that we had. Now I have to change the solution setup for or solution options for a harmonic analysis. So if I come here, I would have to pick harmonic instead of modal now and click OK. And you can see stuff changed in uh, analysis type. So if I click an analysis options, and I can say full or mode superpose analysis. We're going to go with full. We can change whether to show real and imaginary or amplitude and phase. For the analysis, I'm going to leave it as real and imaginary. If I click OK, now equation solver, I can pick from either of these. I can leave it just to be program chosen. Tolerance and other features I could apply. The next would be to come here under load step, time frequency, and frequency setups and define the first and second or uh, initial and ending frequency for this analysis and number of substeps in the two frequencies and whether it's ramped or stepped. We can define multiple frequencies, but for this analysis, I'm going to give just one frequency, which is about 2500 or 2500 hertz at the eighth natural frequency of the plate and then see its deformation. The commands for these um, harmonic analysis are HROPT. So one is HROPT found in here. I can say full or automatically select or mode superposition. And then I can say uh, for super mode superposition, I can say the maximum modes and minimum modes and uh, other stuff appropriate for that. And then I can come to HARFRQ, which means the frequency for the harmonic analysis, initial frequency, ending frequency, so on and so forth. But I only want to do this for one frequency. So come here under solution. Again, let's just make sure that we're on the solution. And say n type harmic 
short for harmonic. And now I have to define the uh, harmonic analysis options. So HROPT, I'm going to do full analysis. And harmonic frequency was about 2500 hertz. So I'm going to give that as the frequency. And we're done. We can do solve and wait for ANSYS to finish the simulation. So it's doing and solution is completed. I can say Finny and go to general post process. Here I can also read the results. If I do by pick, I have, you see I have two results for the same frequency, the top one and the bottom one. And I only have one load step and one sub step. And that's because in harmonic analysis we have complex numbers. One would be real and one would be imaginary because we picked real and imaginary. Or if we had picked amplitude and phase, one would be the amplitude and the other one would be the phase of the complex number. So the way to do that is uh, to, or to read the results for harmonic analysis is to say set the load step, which was one, and the sub step, which was one, and then leave one comma for the fact, and then to KIMG, I could say AMPL short for amplitude, or I could also say real for real part of the complex number, or image for imaginary, or phase for phase of the analysis. But right now I just want to see the amplitude. And PL and SOL plot the nodal solution of displacement in Z direction. And these are the displacements. So basically, I think we got a very big displacement because the, uh, at, the, at these edges, that's about three centimeters, which is pretty high. But it's probably because we gave a big UZ at the center. And if I come here in the um, contour plots, do the nodal analysis and say true scale, you're going to see that it's going to be a large displacement. But if I had given a uh, more reasonable UZ here, instead of 100 microns, I had given it smaller value, it would be smaller there too. So, um, but it, it makes the, it takes the point across. And let me just make this a little bit smaller. That the element, the mode shape is similar to the one that we got from the modal analysis. So by hitting the plate at the center with the same natural frequency or the eighth natural frequency, we've got the same mode shape that we were expecting to see. I can also say PLE sol plot element solution, stresses EQV for um, fun mesis, and these are the stresses in, in the fun mesis uh, in, uh, in the plate. And I can also um, plot strains, let's see, PLE sol, plot element solution, EP, short for epsilon, EL for elastic, so elastic strain. Let's do again, von Mises elastic strain. So these are the von Mises elastic strains. And it, also I can come here and uh, see the symmetry, band, symmetry of the model. So if I zoom all, I'm hoping that it would rotate the plate for me. And let's, uh, let's go back to PL and Sol UZ so that it's easier. And um, let's change the, uh, the scaling to a little bit higher so we can see more interesting result. Still not there. So if I make it 0.1, so it's better. And let's zoom out, look in this direction, change it, and do, the, do that uh, nodal solution again. If I come to plot controls, 
to animate and time harmonic. Let's say 20 frames and make it 0.1 time delay or 0.1 second per between frames and pick UZ and click OK. If I wait a little bit, Ansys is reading some results and it's going to show an animation. So we can see the deformation of the uh, plate in animation. And we could also save it and use it as uh, reports or results in a PowerPoint slide. So I can slide, close this. So in this example, we went through the features for a harmonic analysis of a plate like that and ANSYS APDL.